So uh, it's 11.51, and that means Halloween is almost over. So I want to talk about trick-or-treating. I think trick-or-treating was actually a scam invented by fat people. It has nothing to do with kids getting candy. What it is is it's just an excuse for fat people to be able to go to the store and buy a bunch of candy. Like more than they know the kids will get, will ever eat. And then afterwards, they eat the remaining candy, the huge stores of remaining candy. I know that this is uh, the fat people's secret plot because I am, in fact, a fat person. And this is what I have done. Um, bitch. No, but I threw, I threw my candy away, though. I ate a lot today. I ate a lot of candy. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to wake up diabetic tomorrow, so fingers crossed that doesn't happen, but it's it's likely to happen at this point. And, um, and then, uh, you know, I threw it away, though. I'm like, all right, we've had our fun. I've thrown, I threw the candy away. And, uh, you know, tomorrow it's vegetables and shit for, like, a while. You know, no more bad stuff for a while. You know, until it sneaks its way back in, probably in like a day or two. But, you know, whatever. You gotta fucking perpetuate the uh, illusion of your own resolve. Otherwise, how can you get through life? Anyway, so some bitch, um, some total bitch. I read an article. She's such a big bitch that they wrote an article about what a bitch she is. Like, when you are when you reach a point in life where you do something so despicable that other people write articles about how despicable it is and they, they, like, circulate nationally, you need to fucking reconsider what's going on. Um, I'm not saying that the society is automatically right. I'm just saying that you might want to fucking, you know, give your actions a bit more reflection at that point. Anyway, what she's doing is she has decided, um, and I guess she probably already has gone through with it, she decided she was going to hand out um, letters to fat kids instead of Halloween. Like, if the kid came to her door and said trick-or-treat, it was, like, in her words, moderately ob- obese or worse, she was going to give them a letter letting them know that they don't need to be eating no candy and basically, like, it tells their parents, like, you should be ashamed and it's irresponsible to have this child, uh, this fat. Now, you know, maybe, uh, maybe it is irresponsible for them to have the child that fat. Maybe, maybe the kid doesn't need the fucking candy. But is that really your fucking place to do that? I mean, and, and do you really think, more, more importantly, do you think any good Whatsoever, do you think any positive life change for a person is ever prompted by um, them feeling like shit and like they're totally isolated from society and that other people reject them because of some uh, characteristic of theirs? Like, do you think that's ever going to cause someone to, to really change? Like, maybe sometimes, but I mean, it'll just be a change motivated by fear. It's not going to be like, hey, you know, we we argued our points rationally in a pressure-free environment and they saw the error in their ways and now we're working with them to make these changes. This is like, hey, fatty, you better change because, you know, you're unhealthy and shit. And we, we fucking skinny people have seen fit to impose our will on you because you're fucking up and you don't have the right to fuck up your own life. And that's just that. So we're letting you know right now that you need to fucking be in line with our vision of what you should be. Like, does does, does that seem productive? Does did he, does that does that kind of person? Does anyone find themselves persuaded by that? Would anyone fucking accept that if it was done to them? Like, you know, someone comes to you and says, "Hey, you better change this about yourself because we don't fucking like it." Would you find that a particularly compelling motive to uh, alter who you are? I don't fucking think so. Uh, so that's all. You know, so basically, the woman's a bitch. That's the point. Fuck her. But happy Halloween. It's over now. But still, I hope it was a happy one, and I hope you all uh, 
figured out some way to scam some candy or whatever you're into out of the whole holiday. 